Thank you on behalf of my brothers and sisters, John, Jeff, uh, Sandy, and uh, Nancy, and all the grandchildren and great-grandchildren and so forth. Dad would always help me see in his own way that Mom was probably right, but um, I knew that I could always go to Dad and he would listen. And I can remember that Mom had some transgressions about some of the boys that I dated, but Dad just kind of, he did too, but he, he kind of always made me feel like I could go to him and talk to him. And, he truly would listen, and um, I think they were very proud of me. I actually took a year off to work, uh, working at Coca-Cola, installing vending machines, and then after a year, he literally drugged me to Whitewater and uh, enrolled me in school and got me an apartment, and you know, you're going back to school. I'm like, okay, got it. But did manage to finish, and then, uh, you know, so he was obviously instrumental in ensuring that I finished my, my college career and got my degree. So, which enabled me to join the Air Force as an officer and, you know, 28 years later, so. He was just very supportive. I think being the youngest of five kids, I wasn't necessarily the easiest. Um, I remember my summer after my freshman year, John had come back from wherever he was going to school and I had a summer sublet down on Langman Street and John couldn't understand why mom and dad were paying for that and dad just looked at him and said, it's better this way. As the oldest of five, I was the one that I think my dad and mom practiced on um, and then they figured it out. Um, probably the earliest story about me and my dad is that I was born a year, a uh, month and a half early and um, my dad at that time worked for a hospital equipment company and they, the company gave an incubator that they had developed to the hospital uh, as a, to keep me alive and that's the story that anyway. That... But dad always believed in me and he always gave me a chance to experiment and try things and he really didn't judge so I'm really happy for that. And as it turned out, his patience paid off because as I experimented with various lifestyles and colleges and whatever else, I found out that all that creativity ended up being a career. And with his marketing expertise combined with my creative, we were quite a team. So, Dad, thanks for that. And uh, you know from my talk before that you're in my heart and uh, will be forever. And I'm just really glad that we got to spend so much time together in, in this last, particularly in this last year. Halfway through the, the reception, um, I saw somebody dancing with Barb and she was whirling around this direction like this. And I turned around the other way and I don't know if it was my mom or one of my aunts was dancing with Dick. And they swirled around like this and his glasses were like this. And <laughs> he was looking a little goofy. <laughs> I said, having a good time there, <laughs> So, uh, I guess we all have different sides of this. So he was a good guy and glad to have a chance to get to know him. Uh, he was a good guy, always happy. Um, took care of my mom a lot. Uh, made sure she was always smiling, which is what I liked. I remember he gave me my stuffed animal pup and that's kind of a funny story because when he gave it to me, my brother Will really wanted it and we all got really mad at me, but still have it to this day and still in my room. And I'm very thankful and I'm praising God every day that I've had that chance to be there in his last moments and to pray with him and to just tell him that I love him. And for Emma to give him a hug and tell him that she loves him. And we were great friends with the Berry family and we miss seeing them. And it was great to be able to enjoy a part of this today. He always had a clear mind, and he knew he knew what the score was and who was playing and everything else. And so it was a wonderful experience, and uh, it's tough to lose these guys. 
and uh, it's just tough. I was closer to Dick by far than I was to my other three brothers. Since I was a little boy, he was the most important male role model in my life. He was the last person alive who played a significant role in my life from the day I was born. The world without him is a lesser place. Christ the Lord is risen today.